good. Pulling the beard out. <laughs> you look sharp. <laughs> All right, so how do we do it? It's on this one. Unbutton the sleeve? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh. So you see a little notch, a little, little hole? Yeah. Right here? Yep. You gotta, put that, the you gotta put that through the button. Yeah. All right. Oh man, you look sharp. You know, grandma and grandpa are watching live online. Did you see us walk in? No. We were no. over there. We were like, I wonder if Anthony sees us. He can't wave. We were looking. Oh, good, they, get mad, they get mad when you do it. Well, they, no, we, can't, we didn't walk right past. So. He's wrong, I'll fix you later. It looks sharp. It looks sharp. Oh, wow. All right, man. You Beautiful. look good. I want to get pictures. I want to get pictures of us.
minutes, I love you. 20 seconds away.
those infantry soldiers who walked before us. In just a few moments, out from the past, will emerge our country's next greatest generation, today's infantry warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Infantry Rifle Squad and Mortar Section, the foundation of the Army's decisive force and the embodiment of the warrior ethos. Infantry soldiers have the most challenging job of any member of the armed forces. They carry the fight to the enemy around the world. They are the standard bearer for all the armies of the world, leading by example in the fight to defend freedom against ruthless terror. With the increased firepower and lethality of today's weapons, every infantry soldier must be trained to standard in over 200 tasks to defeat our enemies on any battlefield. The infantry soldiers graduating today are accomplished marksmen and indirect fire infantry soldiers, capable to engage the enemy day and night. They understand how to shoot, move, and communicate as a team. They are adaptable warriors who can fight as a mounted force from Strikers or Bradleys from the sky as airborne or air assault, and whose training is the basis for our elite special operations warriors. Most importantly, they are patriots, who in a time of war raised their right hand and swore an oath to God and country to defend the Constitution of the United States against any enemy. If called upon to fight building to building in urban terrain, to clear the ridges of mountains, or to deliver aid and provide security in areas stricken with natural disaster, these warriors make the difference in defending our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Infantry Rifle Squad and Border Section. As the only internal, indirect fire support for the rifle company, these mortar soldiers placed the 60 millimeter mortar system into action to provide indirect fire support to infantry squads, platoons, and companies, destroying the enemy, suppressing fires, screening the rifle units, and enabling their fire and maneuver. The M224A1 60 millimeter mortar system is a muzzle-loaded, smooth bore, high angle of fire weapon that can be fired in the conventional or handheld mode to provide timely and accurate indirect fire with devastating results. The mortar section and infantry rifle squad are wearing the equipment they train with and will carry into combat. The 60 millimeter mortar section consists of six soldiers. The section is led by a staff sergeant who carries the M32 lightweight handheld mortar ballistic computer, the RT1523E at radio, and the M19 plotting board. The section sergeant is assisted by the squad leader who holds the rank of sergeant and also carries the same ballistic computer, radio, and the M19 plotting board. The section sergeant and squad leader provide fire direction control for the mortar section. They may operate together or in split section as two separate mortar squads. Each squad has a gunner who carries the 60 millimeter lightweight cannon, M8 base plate, and the M67 sight unit. The mortar's maximum rate of fire is 30 rounds for the first minute and 20 rounds per each additional minute indefinitely. The maximum effective range is 3,490 meters. The 60 millimeter mortar system weighs 38 pounds in conventional mode and 20 pounds in handheld mode. 
Each squad has an assistant gunner. Who carries the M170A1 bipod and the M4 carbine as a primary weapon? The M224A1 mortar carries six different types of ammunition, training high explosive, white phosphorus, illumination, infrared illumination, and the mortar anti-personnel, anti-material round. The squad is led by a staff sergeant. They are armed with an M4 carbine. The M4 carbine is the latest evolution of the M16 family and is designed for use in vehicles and close quarters combat. The squad has two fire teams. Each fire team is led by a sergeant. They are also armed with an M4 carbine. This carbine is fully modular with an integrated receiver rail system that can mount the M68 close combat optic and an ANPQ-15 infrared laser designator used to engage targets at night. Each fire team has one automatic rifleman. They are armed with an M249 squad automatic weapon. This is the squad and vehicle machine gun. It has a sustained rate of fire of 85 rounds per minute and weighs 17 pounds. Each fire team has one grenadier. They are armed with an M4 carbine and an M320 grenade launcher. It fires a variety of 40 millimeter grenades to include high explosive, illumination, colored smoke, and buckshot. The M320 provides an invaluable indirect fire capability to the infantry squad. The remaining soldier in each fire team is the rifleman. They are armed with an M4 carbine and the M136 AT4 anti-tank launcher. The AT4 fires an 84 millimeter shaped charge capable of defeating up to 14 inches of rolled homogeneous steel and breaching bunkers or masonry walls in urban structures. Now marching onto the parade field are the infantry soldiers from Delta Company, 2nd Battalion, 19th Infantry Regiment, Alpha Company, 1st Battalion, 19th Infantry Regiment, and from Charlie Company, 2nd Battalion, 58th Infantry Regiment. The company commander for Delta Company, 2nd Battalion, 19th Infantry Regiment is Captain Michael McCormick, and the company first sergeant is First Sergeant Douglas Sims. The company commander for Alpha Company, 1st Battalion, 19th Infantry Regiment is Captain Blair Lunsford, and the company first sergeant is 1st Sergeant Gerald Mullins. The company commander for Charlie Company, 2nd Battalion, 58th Infantry Regiment is Captain Hunter Best, and the company first sergeant is 1st Sergeant Joshua Roke.
Ladies and gentlemen, as the soldiers pass to your front, we invite you to take pictures, but please remain in your seats. When the American flag passes to your front, we ask that you rise and that the gentlemen remove their headgear. Once the American flag has passed your location, you may be seated. Additionally, we ask that you please remain in the stands until the band has completely left the field and the commander of troops reports the conclusion of the ceremony. Charlie Company, 2nd Battalion, 58th Infantry Regiment, is 1st 
Sergeant Joshua Rowe from Atlanta, Georgia.